Now, on the opposite end of the spectrum, it's these boys. <laughs> yeah, like, at, least, these boys. At, at least your guy knows where the kitchen is at. I think the Jones family house is so damn big. They don't even know where the fucking kitchen is. Like, I don't, they have no way to be found. I've been talking about it this all season. I'm, I'm extending apologies to Jerry. Um, like other Cowboys creators made it known to me, like, hey, he's up there in age, so he may not even be coherent to to be to be fair. So all these moves, all this is all a product of Stephen Jones, and I am not liking this. He he over here, he's been making press runs over here saying, Oh, Jerry says we all we always go all in. That was red flag number one. Then all denying in. when we uh we just got our ass handed to to the Packers, and he's denying that we don't have a um a culture problem. Red flag number two, because everybody named Mama said we have a culture problem. And then number three, when you go into the NFL draft, everyone else is just, you know, on the phone talking to, to agents and everything like yep. that. What are we doing? Are we just trying to like, around getting the cheese and crackers at the, you know, and shit like we care about Indianapolis feet, cheese and crackers. And we're sitting on our hands again. And I know what they're <laughs> doing. I was on deck last uh, season. Now I'm for deck. We need to pay deck. You know why? Because I finally went back in history, and the Cowboys have done this before. They're sitting on their hands in free agency, and then they're like, and then they're gonna come in like later on to be like, "Well, we didn't sign anybody because we we uh we haven't signed a quarterback, and he's being selfish and everything like that." Damn that, boy! We could have had money freed up if you go on and pay back his money, and you can have shit allocated. But Stephen Jones, you playing fucking games? You're playing fucking games. And honestly, I'm to the point, I need you and the whole family to sell the team. Go into another industry. Go be billionaires at somewhere else because y'all are playing with Cowboy fans' emotions. Y'all have not made a single fucking move. Nothing. No, look. No, you did. You did. On yes, Twitter, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. The, the, the long right. snapper. You're right. <laughs> we signed a motherfucking long snapper. God damn, a long it. snapper. You need Hello, him. Snapper. You need we, him. If he mess up, oh, he's he can lose mover. a game, boy. He's a need a He mover. can lose a game, boy. He's a need a move. Hey, long snappers have lost games before, I swear. <laughs> and if they <laughs> this they sign and, and it was like, and I I have gone and I heard, and I, you know, they love doing this as cowboy <sighs> fans after every big time saying, Oh, the cowboys are talking. They offered him uh, you know, two point three dollar million dollars left, but you know, we offered him two point eight, but he wanted four, and that was just too much. Okay, <laughs> like you, so yeah, this is Steven. You think you're being too smart. You're going around handing out your two dollars to all these running backs because you thought, oh, the running back position is not important. But as you can see, there's been a resurgence, and every, all the running backs are getting paid, they're getting money. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go in. You go, you think you, you're smarter than everybody fucking else, and you think you're gonna fill the holes of this team through the draft. You gonna you think you're gonna I mean, have a <laughs> I don't because we had a terrible draft last fucking year. <laughs> Who would y'all draft? Who y'all draft? Schoonmaker, uh, I never <laughs> Mozzie Smith was our, <laughs> our first pick. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, there was a couple of linebackers. Like, basically, I mean, nobody. Was a, basically, was, nobody. <laughs> basically, nobody. And then we got a fullback. You know, you know what the sad thing is too, is that y'all got the bad plot that's built from an owner. That bad owner plot, that's tough because that sticks on you. And you, you can't cannot like, do the coach. Any, you cannot do you anything do about it. And you know what's the serious part, Jesse? So I thought everyone's gonna get fired, but you know, you didn't fire anyone. You let this man, you said, you know what, we're gonna let you we're gonna keep your job for one more year. One more year. And, and now what you're saying to me is so go out there and take us to the Congress land. But you didn't sign anybody <laughs> to help <laughs> this man out. What that is the biggest fuck you to Michael McCarthy. That is insane, bro. You're not gonna get this man no help. We just what we we let Tyron Smith walk, which I was 100 percent behind because he's always injured. Okay, I we know, already I didn't know that. we already had okay. We you know I'm gonna get on Dan Quinn, bitch ass. I've been telling y'all he was a uh, he was a Judas from the beginning. He, he's a snake. All all it seemed like all the players that left Dallas went straight to Washington. <laughs> So, oh, look, John, John said, hey, you better get out that man's name. He got C.D., Diggs, Parson, Pollard, well, you know, and Parson. Do you know how many? That's, that shit is so spread apart, John. 
That's ridiculous. Oh, and oh, John, you need to come on up on here because we got to talk about your man. <laughs> you, yeah, we talk about your man. Yeah. Oh, this is a good day. This is a good day because funny I'm enough, ready. I'm that, hype, boy. that boy, that that boy that you was talking about that we said, oh, you needed to tra- draft it. No one want to pay him now. Everyone, I saw a report. They said all thirty, all thirty-one other teams view him as a backup, but you viewed him you as talking, a starter. You talking about Fields? I'm talking, talking about Fields. fields yes. You Dang, see, that's you, tough. That's tough. That's, that's tough. tough. That's that's so Illuminati tough. That's tough. That's, yeah, that's tough. tough. But back oh. to the Cowboys, like real, real oh, quick, I was just gonna say, say no, um, no, the draft. Like, I mean, that's that's Will McClay. That's not that's not Stephen Jones. That's not Jerry Jones. That's all Will McClay. So no, it's not even like you know, it's Steve, not even the Joneses. He, uh, you know how I know is you, you you're right, but you're wrong. Stephen, he has that much power where he could come in and he can veto any pick. You know what's crazy? We tra- we traded for Trey Lance during the season. Did you know? I saw a report. Stephen Jones didn't let anybody know. He just did it on a whim. He traded a fourth round pick on a whim. He didn't let the coach know. Didn't let Will McClay know. He just said, "Hey, we got this guy." So that tells me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I did not know that. <laughs> Do you see the dysfunction? Do you see where my anger is coming from for this man? This man. <sighs> Yeah, the, the Joneses, they had their run in the 90s, obviously. It you was know, a run, boy. As soon as, <laughs> they, as, soon as he, bought, he bought the team, hired Jimmy Johnson, fired Jimmy Johnson, still won one more afterwards somehow <laughs> just because of the team Jimmy Johnson built. Yeah. It was yeah, so it's good. Just, it's just time for them to, like, enjoy enjoy your billions of fucking dollars, sit on the Let's sidelines, go on. Go on and another let wrong. other people take the mm-hmm. reins. We desperately is, look, need, we need a GM. You, look, we need a GM. I'll tell you, even though that is true, because you have bad plot when it comes to your owner. I mean, y'all are the most valuable franchise because of him, too. So it's like, hey, you got it. That is what you get. And it's not, it's actually, I'm not gonna lie, that's not a good trade-off. I won't lie to you. Yeah, it's the not reason good. why it's not the reason why it's not a good trade-off, because like if you look at a team like say you go to basketball, like Golden State, they were they become like top 10 most valuable team in America because of their success and Steph Curry, right? right. That's what you, you you want that level, but it's just it's not because of that for y'all. It's more because of like Jerry Jones's really good business moves and his past. But it's not like because of Steph Curry, it's like a Steph Curry type of thing for y'all. Like right. say, yeah. Steph, like Mahomes and the Chiefs probably increasing the value of his team because of his success and they're doing it now. That type of thing. That's what you you want that type of plot more rather than because he you have really good businessmen who like to hold your team, but is really good at publicity and marketing. So you know, a hey, okay, but tell me this, like it's just, it's the little move. So like. I saw another move. You, you probably didn't see it, but well, you probably did. Okay, they just picked up Micah Parsons' fifth option, but they had the yeah. option to do it at two positions. It was at linebacker or edge, and the difference was three million. Guess guess which way did they took they they chose to classify him? Um, I don't it's know why the, that made me. It's laugh. the under. <laughs> it's the under. <laughs> that made me laugh. That made me chuckle, man. That's funny. it's the under. So like, and like. So th- what I'm getting mad about is like what what what's, what's, what the, the continuous process is that they claim that they want to win, and they want they all want in. all their players to take home on you know discounts, but we never use the money on anybody. And when nope. we do get somebody, respect to Stephon Gilmore, respect to Brandon Cooks. These players be on a second and third stint. Yeah. T.Y. Hilton, boy, a good time. <laughs> when y'all took Brandon Cooks, hey, he clutched it up I, that one game. So yeah, that, I mean, that's what you get him for. But like, when that's our only move for an off season, and we got our rivals making big time moves, like, see, I was scared that was going to me because I talked about that yesterday in my video, and I said like the Texans got seventy million dollars, and we just gonna sit on their hands so we can have seventy million dollars next year, like cheap money. You know, you can't have right. cheap, cheap money don't make no. You can't be cheap in this, like. Because when I saw all these teams making moves, bro, you can't be the last one to the dance because building through the draft is cool, but there's nothing wrong with being splashy, right? There's nothing wrong with making yeah. a big move every once in a while. You know, something like yeah. what I wanted and what I believe y'all wanted is getting an impact player added to the team that's gonna that can win you a game, right? Like right. a guy who can – he's the guy who won me that game. Like I needed him to win, right? That's what I wanted. And Daniel Hunter and Joe Mixon, those are guys I believe that those are, those have guys. a big game. That's a guy. big game yeah. to win, that can oh, win me. Right. Maybe, if, maybe CJ struggle one day. I need the defense to step up. I need the running game to step up. I can give it to them. That's, that's you have what that. I want. You, can, you can lean on yeah. them. But we have, you know, so we have similar holes. Like our biggest hole right now, okay, obviously is O line. 
Yeah. We need. We that's just lost Pollard part. for free. <laughs> we should, no, you're yeah. right. It, th- th- this, that was Steve. You know who, who, who okayed that? Stephen that? Jones. He chose. You talking about the, this? Yes. Are you talking about Pollard? Are you should, talking about that? Okay. Jesse. And yeah, probably Pollard was, too. Jesse. It is, <laughs> is, we, we had a choice to either pay, to keep Cooper or pay Gallup. And they chose to pay Gallup. And Gallup was coming off of ACL's. Uh, oh, yeah, Gallup won. I paid him more yeah, yeah. How many? Two, two years? Too so much. much. <laughs> too, much. <laughs> two years, too much. Uh, two, two years, years too much. much. Too fast, too fast. Two, two years, much. too much. <laughs> we got we, we need a linebacker that bad. We have nobody at linebacker. Our our linebackers are a, a buck forty wet. So I, wet. I don't even. I can't even name the linebackers we had this past season. I can Clark and uh, uh man, because they was just getting torched, <laughs> man. Torched. Is and then running back sad. like. Who we're gonna yeah, have out there? Like, du- Deuce Vaughn. Yeah, that's Listen, the, he was. Hey, a, he was shout out was Deuce the off in the preseason, boy. Deuce. Shout out Deuce. His dad works for for the yeah, team. Shout out Deuce, bro. But and then you know he he did great things to get to the NFL, but like. I'm sorry, but we have bigger you know, expectations, dude. We've been, <laughs> we've been, we gone 12 and five, three seasons in a row, and usually this is it's not hard to think, but usually when teams are like you, when you're on the verge of cracking it, that's just, this is when you're supposed to press on in free agency. This is when you're supposed to make a move. And so, so let me see. So, are y'all gonna draft a running back? Because that's because that, y'all are known for I mean, running backs. Y'all are known. That's, that's like a that's a well, not first. For y'all. Not first. We definitely got. I, I I'm guarantee you our first pick is gonna be O lineman. It is makes sense. Second pick, it's gonna either be a receiver or a linebacker, because we definitely we desperately need a uh, a linebacker. But we de- we shit we need a wide receiver too because. Then you need everything, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was, are y'all that much in? Are y'all, y'all y'all have money though, right? Do y'all have money? No. I mean the cap no, the cap really? increased, but like, we don't have we don't any really money have. because we're paying that. This contract here, that's why you extend Dak and you make his uh his cap hit smaller. 